Hey everyone, welcome to Coding Simplified and now we'll see a new problem in binary tree. So basically we are given a binary tree. We need to check that if that given tree is some tree. So basically in a simple term, it means check whether each node contains the sum of left subtree and right subtree, right? So basically uh, in our last example, we checked we, we saw the problem that check whether each parent or each node contains the sum of left child plus right child, right? But the difference is that here we are checking that each node should contain the sum of all the nodes of sub left subtree plus right subtree, right? So basically uh, what it say, it says that for a particular node value, node of data, it should match the sum of sum of left subtree left subtree plus sum of right subtree right so here what we have and this is what we need to check right and this is also known as sum tree if this property exists right so now uh, if you see that what we can do one way is that we'll start from the top and like here we have 120 right so what we will do we'll check that calculate the sum of this node and uh, miss this left subtree then calculate the sum of this right subtree and check whether this is matches or not if this matches then again go further so like in this example we can say yes the 120 equals so this is again 80 plus 40 so this matches right so if it matches then again we'll go to left node because we need to check it for every node right so again we'll go to left node now again here so like 40 matches with the sum of 15 plus 25 so again we'll say it matches now we'll again go further now this is leaf node so this is leaf node so for leaf node we can say it's true right it matches because there is nothing to check so for null node and for leaf node we can return true right so these are our base condition that if node is null or if node is leaf node or if it is leaf node if leaf node so in both the cases we can return we can return true right these are our basic condition so this is one way that check for each node get the sum of all the subtree get sum of all the left sub node in the subtree and get the sum of all the nodes in the right subtree and do this for every nodes right so it means if there are n nodes if there are n nodes then we need to do it for every node now how much time it takes to get the sum of the particular tree or sum of all these nodes so again it takes the n right so it means if we consider this solution then my complexity will be big of n square right so here what we are doing that for each node we are getting the sum of all the nodes in left subtree and all the nodes in right subtree and then get the sum and then check that right and do this for every operation so if you do using this way it will be a it will be big of n square now we need to find a way so that we can improve this complexity right so basically uh, what we can do that here we are starting from the top so we are going basically top to bottom but if we start from the bottom to top then we can improve that one right so basically what will happen that first of all we'll check with the will will first of all basically we'll solve this problem in post order manner right so first of all we'll go to left so here we have a left node and because this is a leaf node so we'll return true now again uh, again this is a leaf node so it will also return true right so this is returning true this is returning true now for any node for any node if left and right if both are returning true then we'll check then we'll check that what is the value of this one right so if i have this leaf node right so what i can do that in case of leaf node just store that value in the left sum right so basically here i will check that if node of left because I am here so it means I need to check with the node of left and node of right right so it means uh, I will basically check that if it is a leaf node if it is a leaf node so if it is a leaf node then in this case leaf node of node of left 
So if it is a leaf node, so for left will have this value, and in this case we'll just store that value means the node of left value. It means node dot left dot data, right? Now uh, similarly we'll check for the right as well, right? So the same way we checked for the A. So for the A, so this is A for the left node, and for B, so for B will be the for the right node. Right, so the same thing will check for the V. Now what happens? This is for the this is for the leaf node. But let's say if my left was null, like in this case here, my left is null. So in this case, what I can do? I can have another check that if uh, if node of left is null, if node of left is null. So in this case, in this case, if node of left is null, it means store zero. Right. So uh, for left, it will store zero, and for B. P is for the right case, right? So I will store these values and then I will match that whether the values are matching or not, right? So basically, what will happen? That if you start from here, so we are at 40, right? So my A will be for this case, my A will be 15, because left node will return 15 because uh, not return actually, but will store the value to the 15. Now we'll check for the uh, left one, for the right one. So that right node is also leaf node. It means for right node also I will have this 25. Right, so now it will check that whether the values are matching or not. So, like in this case, my value is matching because if you see that my 40, so 40 is equal to a plus b, right? It means value is matching. So this will also return. This will also return true, right? Now what will happen? It will go further, and now I have this 120. So for 120, it will go further here, and then we are at 20. So when it will go for 20, for 20 it will go here. So here we have null, so it is null, so it will return true from here. And then at right side we have leaf node, so it, it will also return true because this is leaf node. Now when we are here, we'll check the values that whether this whether this is matching with this property in left subtree or right subtree. In left subtree, in left node we have null. So if it is null, it means it will return zero. Now for the right side, we have leaf node. So leaf node means 20, right? So it means what is the value? So value if you check that whether the given value is matching with a plus b. So yes, value is matching with this a plus b, right? It means this will also return true, right? Now what will happen? We are here. So for 120, both left and right is returning true. Now it will check that what is the what is in the left side. Now in the left side, we don't have leaf node, we don't have null node as well, we have no leaf node. So in case of no leaf node, you return the two times of the value of that val of that given value. So what it means that for any no leaf node, we'll store the value just two times of that given value, right? So it means if it is the case, then store this one, else if it is again store this, else what you do, you store the two times of the value whatever in the left node in the left node left of data so this is what you do for the a so we store the value a similarly for the right also we do the same thing right so in this case what will happen that for the left node it will store the values two times of that value so it means 80 now similarly for the right also in right we have 20 so this is also non leaf node so it will again store the values as two times which is 40 right so now if you see that 120 is matching with this a plus b which is 40 plus which is 80 plus 40 so it means this also written true so our overall answer is true so here is my code that here i am passing the root node of that in this function if some tree so uh, here basically i have the i have the integer left sum and right sum right so these are the basic cases that if node is null or if you are if it is a leaf node so we simply return null so we can basically write it here so now we simply check that first of all if your node of left is returning true or if your node of right is returning true then uh, first of all if your node of left was null then store the value in left sum as zero now if your if it is node was leaf node so if your node of left was leaf node so store the value as that simple value else store the Two dot node of left of data, right? So now, uh, so now once we have done this for the left one, similarly do this for the right as well, right? So now for the right as well, uh, similarly store the value if node of right was null, right sum is zero. Similarly for the leaf node and same for this one. 
that if your value is non leaf node then store that value after that uh, if your node of value is equal to the right sum plus left sum then you return the true else you return false right and you do this for every every value right so basically we keep on returning the value to the top value and again we check this value till the top right so this is uh, this is what our solution is now if you talk about the time complexity of this problem so basically what i am doing that i am recursively going i am basically solving this problem in post order manner i am going till bottom then i keep on doing that one right so it means uh, it means i am able to solve this question in big of n in one iteration of all the nodes right so that's my time complexity now if you see about the space complexity so as such i am not using an extra space uh, i'm just using some variables so it is big of 1 right so that's all about it and now because we are using recursion so if you consider the system mistake so you can say yes we are using because recursion uses system mistake so in that it store the value so in that case it can be big of 1 but generally we can ignore that one and we will consider only the program space right so this is in my time complexity and space complexity so uh, that's all guys about this video and uh, if you have any doubts regarding this please write in the comment section and i will try to explain that and i will also put the source code into the description so if you want then you can also get it from there so that's it and uh, if you have liked the video then please like it and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you